Hi, Debbie with Deb V here, and today the project is turning the stained up from being used to wipe off hand towels into hands only towels. I will be using the embroidery machine. My machine is the Baby Lock Flourish 2. It has been discontinued. Love it. Its largest field does a 6x10 and I believe the machine that replaces it goes off of Wi-Fi. It costs more, obviously. But um, it is a good machine It if you don't need to do really big designs or you're kind of wanting to get started out but not be limited to just a 4x4 field. Now this design does fit a 4x4. And it is just the words, hands only, but quite large. I One inch letters. I wanted them big. In the hoop will be medium tearaway. I do not know where you can get this. It was a sample package that was sent with a machine I had purchased. And I'm not even sure if it was this machine or the one before it. <laughs> I had tried one out and it was just too much for my small area and I don't really do much. But they let me keep all the stabilizers, the sample packs that came with it, so yay. Anyways, medium tear away, uh, sprayed with 505 temporary adhesive and I have already actually stitched one of them and uh, it didn't stick adhere well. I didn't put enough spray on there. So what I did and decided this is a good idea so I'll probably keep doing it. I ran some quarter inch double sided tape on the edges. I knew the design wouldn't get close to the edges. And I used this to pick it off because you don't want to loosen that backing up. So if you push at it or dig at it too much you might loosen the backing up. And I turned around and I, on top it was water soluble. It's wash away. And I cut out a piece to fit in the hoop. I put this on the edges to keep it in place. Make sure it's not where you're going to stitch because your machine won't like it. This is double sided tape and it's will gum up your machine and you'll have a mess, okay? So, let's see. What else did I forget? I'm sure I forgot a lot of things. Did I thank you for joining me today? Thank you. I do appreciate you visiting. Now, to cut the size, I'm going to show you what I do. I put it down on my stabilizer with the open edge here and I run it to here and I cut it and that way I know that I've got extra room for pulling because whenever I cut it closer I end up with it a little you know short on one uh, edge and if it loosens and I need to tighten it I can't pull at it so a little bit more is really worth the headache just a tip there and now we will get to sewing. Now to pull up the design, you'll just hit the little squiggly looking thing. Pops up the designs that you have on your USB. You select it and set. Now we're going to rotate it. Hit the rotate. I want to turn it so that it's going up and down kind of a thing. Now we'll just adjust where we want it to start at. We want to center this. So we just use our little arrows to center. The dot in the middle will hit center for the hoop. Next we need to make sure that we've got it in the side of the hoop. Always run this check before starting to stitch. Here I am placing the wash away stabilizer on the top. I did put double sided tape on the edges 
to hold it into place make sure if you use it that your needle will not be going through that double-sided tape it will not like it now we're going to stitch it out it starts with the H it is a satin stitch with a straight and zigzag underlay You'll see here that I wasn't paying attention to my machine. I had left the room, actually. And the end, the red thread had snagged, and it pulled the bobbin threads to the top. And next you will see how I fixed it. first thing we need to do is back the stitches up to the point where the red satin stitches had stopped. If you let it run all the way to the end, then you'll run it forward to that point, and then you'll start the stitching. You will want to stay close at hand because when it finishes this letter, it's going to go to the next. So you need to stop it when it gets to the end and starts to move.
as you had seen in the stitch out when you're not paying attention things can happen and something had the thread had snagged up on something and it so it was pulling the bobbin all the way up when it got down to the end and started over here the thread finally came loose and it stitched the rest of the way out in the meantime I had wandered off <laughs> And I come back and I saw where it had done that. So I had to go back. I want to be able to use the towel. Yeah, I know it's all stained up. This is because people keep using it for their hands. So I just put hands only on it. And it will hang on the end of my stove. This is stuck into place. As I had shown. Because, you know never fails no matter how much I'm trying to hold on to it it shifts and bubbles and some is under and some isn't so I have rolls and rolls of quarter inch tape because I couldn't find it so I ordered more and then I found it I'm sorry it you know it's awful when you lose your mind <laughs> so we just pull snip up any threads you still have if you can get a hold of them now you can do this out of the hoop and it'll actually work a little easier I'm gonna get the rest of those out of the hoop and on the back yeah it looks pretty good I also use I'm just gonna snip these off it will show but it won't matter I mean, we just cut them all off. I live with a bunch of men that, you know, for the most part, you're not going to see them inspect anything. As a matter of fact, when I was going to buy new tiles for the upstairs bathroom, one of them told me, why? They still dry. Okay. You know, if, if you don't mind it, you can have it. We'll just pop that out. And that is my 4x4 four four hoop. So it all fit in there. Uh, I did end up putting some t quarter inch tape around the edge. Because the adhesive I put on here, I used the 505, which normally works great. But maybe it sat too long because I had sprayed it in a few hours before I actually decided to do it and the towel didn't it just didn't even feel secure in the hoop but that is a medium weight tear away happened to be what I had I will I did not show trimming it out I will show that in a second okay so now, you can hang a towel up, and it says, oop, well, that is not a boo-boo in the thing. That is just a loop. Like I said, it's an old juice towel. And normally, I turn them into rags, but every once in a while, I say, you know what? It's not worn out. It's just stained up. So, and I don't bleach. I did use vinegar on it, but it didn't take out all as much as I would have hoped, so I said, fine, they can use it to dry their hands on. So this one will be in Pez only. If you've got something you can convert it in, fine. Otherwise, you know, on your machine, you're going to have fonts. You can do it with the fonts that are built in also. I did these one inch tall because my oh the other ones I had done I did smaller and people just don't even see it I got tired of going in there and that was what they were using at the sink or whatever and it's like there's a reason it says hands only on so now it's nice and big but I will upload it to the cloud if you want it you're more than welcome to download it it is in Pez um, no, it is not in anything else. 
you will need to convert it yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please enjoy the pattern. It's on the house. Bye-bye. Hope to see you next time.